Hi there, I'm teacher Edgar and today we're working on intentional teaching card M51. Can you find it? The objective on this one is explores and describes spatial relationships and shapes. The focus is going to be on positional words. I'm going to give you an example. We're going to use my son. Emmett, come on over. I'm going to tell you to look for something. Are you ready? I want you to look for a black flashlight. Okay. Now, I want you to turn around and walk forward and see if you can find it. You're getting closer. You got to go down. You found it. You can bring it over. That deserves a high five. Let's try that again. Are you ready? Okay, this time I want you to find a green letter. So turn around and go forward slowly. And look around, you're getting closer to it. Check your left, it's down. There it is, you found it! You're really good at this game. Thank you, another high five. Perfect. Now, you stay there. Now. If you find that your child maybe isn't ready to walk around and follow, to follow directions that are positional in nature, what you can do is just bring the game really, really close. I'm going to hold the objects that I want Emmett to look for in my hands. I'm going to narrow the search field. Emmett, I want you to find the blue ball. Right there. Thank you. Would you like to hold it? Now, this is a more simple, direct version of the game where Emmett, in this case, is going to be looking in just this very confined area. I'm going to get him used to playing the game, which means get him used to searching or looking or picking. Can I borrow that ball again? Thank you. Now, if you're finding that maybe your child is having a hard time picking the one you'd like that him or her to pick, you can position the objects in a way that makes it optimal for success. I'll show you what I mean. Emmett, can you please grab the orange ball? Thank you. It was, there was a higher likelihood of success because I put the orange ball closer. It's going to be more likely that Emmett, in this case, would grab the ball because it's closer. And then reward each attempt, whether successful or not. Hey, you did really well. Thank you. So we're working on positional words. We're also working on receptive language and following commands or instructions. So this does have or serve multiple purposes. It's a really simple game. You don't need to go out and find anything. Just use the objects you have at home. Thanks for watching.